Hey everyone, I just launched getuniversal.link, a new solution for managing and testing universal links. Now I'm currently an iOS developer at Turo, and let's pretend that I want to test our app's universal links. I'll just go ahead and put in our domain here, and we'll see now that the tool tells us all of the universal links our app supports. Now this is going to make verifying the behavior of these links super easy. The platform tells us that the current version of our Apple App Site Association file on Apple's network is valid, that it was last updated uh, 17 minutes ago, and that Apple will grab the latest version from our domain in just under six hours. So if it turns out there is an issue with our universal links and its behavior, we know how much time we have before Apple grabs the latest version of the file from our domain. Now, what we can do is we can also test the universal links coming directly from the latest version that Apple has indexed or from our domain itself. Whichever one you want to test, Get Universal Links supports both. Now, if your Apple App Site Association file determines behavior for multiple app IDs, you can easily pick the relevant app ID from this drop down list. Now, let's take a look at how we would actually go about testing these universal links. The first thing we'll notice is that some of these links tell us that they are meant to be a web-only experience while everything else is meant to take us into the app. So to test, the first thing we can do is we can pick one of these links that doesn't have a wildcard in it. Let's take this one for example. Now imagine that I was actively doing development on my machine. I had Xcode open, the iOS simulator open, and the terminal open. Well now I can just click this button and I can get the terminal command that will allow me to simulate opening this universal link directly to the iOS simulator. Now imagine that I have this website open in the iOS simulator or on my physical device. Now we can just go ahead and I can click this button which will simulate navigating to that link and that will allow us to verify that the universal link behavior works there too. Now one thing you'll notice here is that in the URL itself, it has the name of the domain included in its path, which means that if you were to bookmark this link, you can immediately come to this dashboard with everything already loaded and ready to go. This also means that you can share this link with your QA team, your product team, and other iOS engineers on your team, and they'll have this dashboard fully configured and ready to go for them to use to start testing. Now let's take a look at a slightly more complicated universal link. Why don't we come down here to the search one? You'll see that in comparison to the other ones that don't have wildcards, we need to provide some other information here first. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and I can replace the wildcards manually and save that link for testing purposes in the future. I've already gone ahead and I've created a few test links for us to use. So why don't we go ahead and verify that perhaps the US locale version of our search page works correctly. I could test that using the simulator command, or I could try opening it up too. Great, this page loads, everything's in English, cool. Now let's try the other one. We'll go ahead and we'll try France. And as you would expect, the website appears with uh, the French language, great. Now you can imagine that if we had this website open on our iOS device, whether it's a simulator or a physical device, and we went through that same exact procedure, we would expect the iPhone app to open up and the behavior to be the same. So this allows you to easily quickly build out those links and then just verify the behavior on the actual client. Looking at one more example here, why don't we pick this one? You can see that as I start replacing the wildcards, this will update to show you what the value that is saved is going to be. You can see what the original template is with the wildcards and you can see what it would look like once you're done. So you can know that whatever you're about to save, whether or not that is actually correct and valid for your use case. So everything you've seen so far is completely free, but we're always working on new features. So if you want to be the first to try them out, make sure to sign up on our website. One of the cool new features that we have coming up is AASA file monitoring. This will allow you to receive notifications anytime there's a breaking change to your AASA file, and that will allow you to fix those issues before Apple indexes them and before it starts to affect your users. So if you're ready to take your app's link management to the next level, head on over to getuniversal.link and get started.